It's FML with Fook and Michelle, and on the phone with us right now, she's appearing at Wise Guys tonight, Friday, and Saturday in West Valley, and Margaret Cho is on the phone with us. Hello, Margaret. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Uh, So we were reading that you went to Joan Rivers' funeral. I did. It was really, really, really hard. I mean, she was um, really a mother to me, you know, and I think to a lot of us. Uh, comedians, so it was really one of the most heartbreaking, difficult things I've ever experienced. I'm lucky enough that most most of my family is still around, so I hadn't experienced that before. But it was really it was tough. Uh, I guess I'm sort of curious that you would think if there were, you know, I've heard of of Irish wakes and and people that are sort of able to have a good time, make it a celebration of life, and I, I, I guess I would think with a bunch of really, really high powered and, and talented comedians at a comedian's funeral, that there might be some levity to the occasion. Was was there? Yes, there is. A, you know, it's it's interesting because it, it was it was her funeral, and it was so. Um, it was an occasion to celebrate her, and there were so many great stories told about her, and some of them, most of them, actually, can't be repeated on right. the air. <laughs> but that was the great thing about it, is that through the tears, we were all really laughing also. Um, and that was an incredible thing, you know. Um, what a great woman, and what a great life, you know. And uh, so many funny things, and so many funny people, um, it was really special. I heard that Stern's eulogy, I'm sure also that this is parts of which you can't repeat, but that was both incredibly raunchy, but also super hard touching. It was, it was incredibly raunchy, but what was so hard was the whole time he was crying. He was bawling his eyes out crying, and that was really hard to see, because that, that think, I think that's the, the saddest thing in the world to see Howard Stern in tears. It's really sad. Did uh, did anybody critique what what Joan was wearing? Um, well, uh, actually, we didn't know because she um, had been cremated the day before oh, Saturday, oh. and so her um, body wasn't there. Even though I know that she very famously talked about how she wanted to be in the casket and have her hair blowing around her like Beyonce, right? Um, she actually physically um, was gone, which um, you know you. What, what you had of her was that they had uh, sprayed the entire place with her signature perfume, which she had made specially for herself. And, you know, we all really loved it. And, and, and that smell was just her. And so the smell, was, that, that really was her presence there. And, and I thought that was really powerful. I, I'm not sure if this is a cheap joke or not, but I thought Joan would have appreciated if somebody was standing over her at some sort of o- open casket funeral going, Oh my God, I wouldn't be caught dead in that. <laughs> I'm sure she would have loved it. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're actually new to Salt Lake City. Have you ever played here before? I've been here a few times, yes. Um, not, uh, uh, not like, you know, like incredibly often, but I think I've played here like maybe four or five times. I've been here a few times at Wise Guys. And then I played here uh, also with the True Colors tour with Cindy Lauper, so with the big um, rock and roll tour that came through some time ago. I, I was part of that, but um, I, I was here last year, so I, I, I'm excited to come back and play again. Do you have any specific Salt Lake City uh, material? Well, I don't understand like why I have to go to like a state liquor store to buy alcohol. Like I, I think that's really it, it's a it's a weird feeling to like go to like a special store and kind of far to go to get I would I would normally get it at the supermarket but like you have to go to like a weird store and then it's really it feels like a methadone clinic or yep. something like you really feel like an addict um <laughs> I uh, drink alcohol and I uh drink coffee so I don't know how much I fit in they try here. to discourage you <laughs> yeah and you said you said you did the like true colors um tour and you know you're openly bisexual and you do a lot for the lgbt community we were surprised there's actually a large gay male community here uh do you think there's going to be a big turnout i think so i hope so i would like for them to be i mean i think um it's that's really exciting and then you guys have gay marriage here too i had no idea i did not know that that's I news think, to us I, I always thought that like it happened it didn't happen in utah and then it is like happening? No. Dal- Dallas, Dallas, do you know more that? about this? Maybe I'm visualizing it. Our producer might know something more about this. Yeah, we yeah. got it, and then it was—it's it, not recognized. 
you got it and then they so, like took it away like yeah. like uh, in but California I, with hate. Yeah. I think we're getting so, out. So though. you don't have it, but you do. In, <laughs> it's in it's, the laws it's or, so back and forth. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's weird. How could it be back and forth? That's, I, I don't know. I don't get it. So wait, did, did, did people get their licenses, get married, and then they were like, nah, what you just went through and the whole corsage and the dress, that's no longer a thing. Exactly. It's just oh, like weird. that. Babe. That happened actually in San Francisco, too, where it was legalized, gay marriage was legalized, and then it was somehow made invalid. Yeah. So is that the same kind of situation? I was living in yes. California when that happened, and I, all of my friends were like, yay! got you know passed and then like the next day it was like ah i can't believe they took it away well look it couldn't be all bad i'm sure there were a few couples that were excited because there was the opportunity and they had a few drinks and they went let's get married and then they were like oh this was a terrible idea wait wait hold on it's not yeah it's not a thing oh thank god (laughs) Uh, there there are also, we, we've noticed, and again, we've been town, in town for about three weeks, that uh, we're talking to Margaret Cho, by the way. She's going to be at Wise Guys in West Valley uh, tonight, Friday, and Saturday. That, uh, that there are, there's a significant Asian por- uh, population here. Um, I saw. I saw when I was driving in and through West Valley, I saw there was a lot of places for live seafood. And you know that that's, when there's live seafood, there's Asian people. <laughs> uh, I, I think that there are a fair amount of Asians here that are associated with the church. We're, I'm just curious, were you brought up with any particular religion? Yes, I grew up very, very, very Methodist. Um, in, uh, I was a Sunday school teacher also. What? Um, I, my grandfather was a minister, and um, I grew up very, very religious. And then also my mother, but my mother is also Buddhist. So we had a lot of different religious traditions um, happening at the same time. Because I know a lot of people are like brought up religious here, and then they grow up and they're like, eh, I don't feel like doing that anymore. Or do you? Are you still practicing all of these things, or are you? Oh no, I don't really care. I mean, I'm not really, you know, it, to me, I'm not so religious. I, I, I'm not even really spiritual. I'm kind of just here. It's like a foundation. Sort of, I have fun. Uh, Margaret, we're thrilled to have you here tonight. Uh, have great shows. Again, Wise guy, Wise Guys, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in West Valley. And, Margaret, you have the, I don't know if I'm going to call it auspicious, but West Valley was just noticed nationally as being the number five most dangerous city in America. It is? Yeah. yeah. Are you scared? Why? It's right here in Utah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Why? Do they have? I didn't even realize that uh, Mormons were capable of crime. <laughs> yeah. It was like... What what is what kind of crimes happen? Is some I, kind of bike crime, bike on bike crime happening up here? What's I think there's up? there's live seafood drive bys. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Margaret, thanks fish. thanks for again for being on the program. Uh, have Thank great you. shows. We love you. Love you. Thank you so much.